Hi guys! So this is the third video in the home makerspace series where I'm transforming my dining room into a practical multi-subject workspace. In the first video I started working on the maple counter and I built the top cabinets. In the second video I continued work on the counter and built doors and finished details on the cabinet. You can find those videos by clicking right here. In this video I'm working on the lower cabinets and specifically this custom multi-drawer unit which is actually the section of this whole project that I've been the most excited about ever since the beginning. So let's get started. This bottom unit will feature mahogany, contrasting the top white cabinets. I began with cutting up some beautiful mahogany plywood for the main sections. Then I set the plywood aside and started cutting up the wood for the drawers. I'm using maple for the sides and back and the mahogany for the fronts. And since there will be 10 drawers, there was a lot of cutting to do here. Once I had the pieces cut up, I went inside and marked them all, cause that's key here. What's front, back, bottom, up, right, left on each piece. But uh, let's fast forward a second into the future to get a better picture. So here are the pieces for the drawers. So here's the front mahogany piece. Now the pins are on the front and the back pieces and the tails of the dovetails are on the sides. So it won't pull apart as you pull the drawer in and out. Then I have prepared grooves on the sides here, on these two sides, and these are like for drawer slides. It's gonna slide on a piece of wood here. And there's a stop here so it won't go all the way. Then on the other side here, there is the groove for the bottom. dovetailing, yes. To speed this process up, I'm using a jig and a router. The setup is where you have to put all your effort and it takes some time, but once you get that right, and once you've marked out all your pieces correctly, the whole process of cutting the tails and the pins is fast and easy. And a lot of fun, actually. Next, routing the outer grooves so the drawers can slide onto pieces of wood. And you can see that stop lock on the left side, and that's important so you don't have a gap in the front of the drawer. Also, routing the inner grooves for the bottom to fit inside each drawer. Now all the pieces are prepared and the drawers are ready to get glued together. Of course, 10 drawers is quite a lot, so it took a little bit of time to glue all of them together. Now for the bottom, I'm using this really nice piece of thin maple plywood uh, that is pre-finished with a shiny finish on one side, a matte finish on the other. And when doing this, it's really nice to have a more rigid bottom as opposed to like a hard board. So, because it's a pretty big distance and that way it's more stable. Now sanding and then finishing and I'm using a water-based polyurethane on all the drawers. Then let's set the drawers aside a minute and work on the cabinet. I've got a bunch of plywood and here I'm making pocket holes on smaller pieces that will connect everything together. I'm kind of building a skeleton here for one side of the room. It is essential to use some sort of corner clamp system to ensure you have everything at 90 degrees when connecting the pieces together. And here you can see it's one side and I'll build one more for the right side. 
Now, I'm not using metal drawer slides for the drawers, hence the grooves on the outer sides, remember? Instead, I'm having the drawers right on these wooden strips. This is maple, so I'm just cutting up a bunch of them. And I'm using the feather board to make this cut, where I'm pushing through on the inside, in between the fence and the blade. It is a great technique when you want to cut really thin pieces of wood repeatedly without re-measuring. Then I drilled three holes, countersunk, in each piece. I secured a strip on each side of the cabinet and then pushed a drawer in. Success! First drawer in! Once I was happy about the position of the first drawer, I was able to mark from there all the other drawers and I used a spacer block for consistency. I thought designing the drawers without using metal drawer slides was more in keeping with the theme I was trying to create. You know, vintage style library cabinet with lots of thin drawers designed to hold maps and drawings and secrets. I used the block plane to taper the fronts of the wood runners so the drawers could more easily grasp them. And then just a lot of testing to make sure they're moving well. I really like that everything fits together very tightly and that you can see the dovetails and the wood come through. And here you can also see the stopping point of the grooves, which acts as a stop for the drawer fronts. To make the drawers slide easier, I sanded all the wooden strips with my mineral oil wax polish, and this makes a huge difference and keeps the dust down. It slides on a lot easier, and here I'm just testing them all out. Next, the hardware. I created this template for marking the holes of the knobs and the label holder. And this was so much faster than measuring and marking out 10 drawers individually. I finished the fronts with some Tangol wax polish to make them nice and smooth, and then I put on the hardware. Since these drawers are so wide, I decided to use two knobs on each, because I really like that look. And to keep track of what's inside each drawer, I got some really nice thin label holders. Now this mahogany plywood is pretty amazing, and matches the actual mahogany wood very well. But to cover the raw edges of the plywood, I'm using some mahogany edge banding that I'm just ironing on. So I have 10 drawers here now, 10 thin drawers, and that leaves me with some space here underneath. And I was thinking about how it would be cool to really utilize that in some way, like for storage, but to kind of keep it secret hidden. Because I like this look of these drawers and I don't really want to put, like, make in a bottom drawer that is chunkier and larger, that kind of disrupt that look. So, I built a simple bigger drawer with the same mahogany front. And let me show you guys, so I put this in. Then I was thinking that it would be really cool if I could open this in some other way. And I have access to this bottom section here, like this is where you sit, this is where your feet are. So if you could push something that kind of pivots this open, that would be awesome. So, and it pushes it out of the drawer. So it's like a secret drawer inside here. Next up, I'm working on the door for the narrow cabinet on the right of the drawers. To continue the look of the drawers, I'm using inset hinges, and I've got this jig here to help me line them up correctly. First, I drill the holes on the door, then I line up the marks on the inside of the cabinet. I had to make a hole in the divider piece in order to fit the drill through, as you can see here, but it worked out well. <laughs> When I knew the door fit in place, I put on matching hardware. And I really like how these hinges just click in place. Makes it really easy to take off the door if you ever need to. So now I just need to put the drawers back in place, and this is where the cabinet will end up. On the right side of the room, with a counter on top.
So I have this uh, foot kicking mechanism here that I'm trying to kind of perfect. So I have a spring, I have the wood here, and I'm trying to figure out like the stop point. Like how far do I want to be able to kick it? Like I don't want to push the drawer out completely, just a little bit. So the spring here I have because I want this unit here to retract back again after you push it. Because otherwise you can't push the drawer back in again. So that way you will get pushed back. So, yeah, I'll take this off and make a slightly different version. So this is the end of this video. I am going to uh, complete this project in the next coming videos along with the counter, more cabinets, uh, just lots of little things to do on this project to finish it. But I am so happy about this and I love the secret drawer as well as all the little drawers in here as well. well this is it for now, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!